Um, today, um, part of our show is helping others to help themselves and reach their goals. And today we're doing another teen chat. And we have our famous teen panel, teens on our panels today, that's going to help us discuss a topic that is important to most teenagers, high school stressors. I'd like to introduce my panel to you today. Um, we have Tressa, um, Edward, El Nathan, and Mate. So, thank you very much for coming. Uh, today's topic is going to be on high school stressors. Well, one I can say is, thank God I am out of high school almost 30 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I, I had enough stressors when I was in school. <laughs> so I can relate to that. Trust me on that. High school stressors. I mean, everyone thinks, oh, you know, what can you stress about in high school? You don't have a job. You're just having to do studying. You go there for a few hours a day. But it's pretty darn stressful. It is really stressful. Because now you're going from that stage of, you know, the elementary kitty work to the harder, tougher stuff to get you ready to college. And besides that, it's also getting you in the maturity level. You're going from, yeah, hopscotch, let's go play on the playground and push me on the swing to actual relationship with people, having to work with them, on doing a school project, maybe dating. So let's open this up. Want to open this up on high school stressor? Who's stressing? <laughs> um, <laughs> I just feel like it depends, like what you do after school, because sometimes, like, like sometimes, you um, have like different things, like band. If you're in band, and then like you'll have like a different activity, like mm -hmm. chemistry club. Like I feel like sometimes people find it hard to do both, like do something that they love and then they have they try to find time for band and then they try to find time for chemistry to club and like sometimes they intertwine with each other so it's like you want to go to both but you have to choose one so I guess it gets like kind of stressful sometimes because you have to figure out like a schedule and then like you trying to do homework afterwards because like sometimes you don't get home until like late late and then you're trying to yeah. focus on your homework and then you try to get enough sleep right. so you're not tired in the morning so you can focus in school. So a lot of time management skills and yeah. it sounds like a lot of time management skills issues. And it sounds like you guys have too many opportunities. Maybe that's it. I know I didn't have all this stuff when I was a kid, so maybe that's it too. Nowadays have so many opportunities, that kind of stresses you out. Ed? I mean like things like science club, like she was saying, mm -hmm. or some schools even have chess club. but. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, you should do it. Whether it be chess club, basketball team, soccer team, bowling team, whatever you like, you should follow that passion. Because in high school, you just got to worry about what makes you happy and um, just getting a brighter future. Now, does it affect you having to do all these things in school, plus the schoolwork, and then you have the relationships on top of that with your classmates and <coughs> people you don't know? I feel like it can be a, a like a stressful for some people because some people are like shy and like some don't know how to open up to other people. And I feel like if like someone was struggling in a certain area like math, they wouldn't know how to like raise their hand and say, hey, I'm having trouble with this because they feel like someone will be like, oh, you're stupid. Like they would laugh at them. But I just feel like that you should be open about anything. If you have a question, you should raise your hand because you never know if somebody else in the classroom has the same question as you, but they, you know, don't want to ask it. Okay. Oh, Nathan, you were going to say something. Yeah. Um, I was going to say because I remember my first couple of days when I got into high school. Um, when I was doing my homework and stuff, I didn't even really get time to even hang out with my siblings much because yeah. I was over there trying to get my homework done because there was so much to get done and it was kind of challenging as well and and I also feel like homework is kind of pointless like shouldn't I be able to do all the work in school <laughs> okay so oh I think it's really stressful because um I just manage in like during the fall I manage a volleyball team so sometimes when we have away games they're probably and there was one in Evanston, and we had to stay there until 8.30, and it's really late, and I don't have any time to do my homework because I'm just watching them play. And it's just, it, you just need, like you said, time management skills to mm -hmm. have time to do your homework, talk to your friends, 
eat, get some sleep, and just do anything. So do you guys have fish too many opportunities and that's causing an issue? Uh, uh, I mean, is it more opportunities? You, you want to try and do everything? Is that kind of it? Because I, I have like a lot of clubs at mm -hmm. my school and there's a lot of clubs I would like to join, mm -hmm. but I refuse to join them because I feel like I don't have enough time to do them because I have to do homework and, and uh, also have to do stuff at the house. Like I got to do homework, got to do chores. I also have to make sure that I have time to um, eat, sleep, uh, all the extra stuff like I would do a lot of mm -hmm. the extracurricular activities like math leads but I can't because I'm stuck doing homework so when you guys put a job factory job in there then <laughs> Ooh, wow. yeah. how are you going to balance it out does anyone work here no. Edward well I work during the summer hmm. but I have so many friends that have jobs that they're only giving home to like 11 at night and then they start their homework mm -hmm. It's, it's like they're, they're working without souls, basically, if you think about it, because they're just zombies when you see them at school, you know? Mm. It, it's just... True. I mean, like, I get you want to make some cash, but, dude, you need some sleep. <laughs> so, Tressa, you listed a whole bunch of different activities you do. Are you pressured to do that? Are you feel obligated? You just want to? It's why, why not? Well, it's, I don't, it's not like I don't feel pressured to do it. It's just like I just feel like I need to be more active. Like mm -hmm. it's always good to be active, but like when you once it gets to a point where like you stress like so much that you can't take it anymore, I just feel like you need to drop things that you can't handle. And like, you know, things the, the activities that I am in, like I do like have a schedule like okay, like if I need to be here then I'll be like, well, I can't be here, and I can't be, like, I can't be at two places at the same time. So, like, maybe I'll do this a different day, and then do this, and, like, you know, switch days, like, band one day, and then T3 another day. But if I really need to do, like, band, like, I have to be there, then I'll be there. And I'm pretty sure, like, the people, like, people are under, really understanding. So, I just feel like, you know, it's not, it's not like, it's not, like, stressful, stressful, but it does get to the point where it's just like, well, sometimes I don't have time to do my homework and like, you know. But don't you just pick priorities? I mean, there should be priorities. I mean, obviously our health is more important. You All know, right. make sure you're getting those seven, eight hours of sleep. I don't know what you, right. does anyone even get seven, eight hours of sleep? I know I don't. Um, but w what, what about the priorities? Shouldn't homework come first? Worrying about school and then all those extracurricular activities. How many extracurricular activities are you guys in for school? None. None. I'm None? Because I'm, I'm too like busy homework. doing homework. I'm in like two. I, I don't do any of them because I'm too busy doing homework. I want to do mock trial. Can't do that because I got to do homework. I want to do math beats. Can't do that. Homework. Is so you guys are stressed out. Yeah. But you're really not even in any clubs. Yeah. yeah no. especially, right. especially AP and R classes, they really lay homework on you. Mm -hmm. But I guess because you're no higher standard and stuff. Okay. But at least even with that, you should have some sort of break, you know? Like, I have a 1,200-word rough draft to do in, like, two days, and I'm like, I haven't started this yet. It was assigned last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's me all the time. Well, use excuse for your teacher. Well, I was on a TV show, so can you give me a break, teacher? Probably can't use that excuse, huh? You always know, say, like, oh, you're, this is AP class, so that's out of high school, and he doesn't care. He's he doesn't like, get oh, it. I don't care. He doesn't get it. No. So... Really, you guys aren't in a whole lot, and you're already... St so what's stressing you out? The classwork? Is the assignments too hard? Are you pushing yourself? Are the teachers pushing you? Which, if they are, I'm happy the teachers are pushing you because we need to push our students. What is it that causes stress? Uh, classwork. Classwork? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because, like, I have to do classwork, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the thing about classwork... Uh, most of the time, it's usually individual, and the teachers really like say, be quiet. And I feel like having just an hour or 30 a day isn't really enough for me to actually connect with my friends. Like, like You're not there to connect with your know, friends. I, You're I, there to connect with the school. <laughs> I, I don't talk to them any other time, and that's the thing. Oh. That, that's really the only time that I actually get to spend time with my friends is at school. So let's do school instead of homework, mm -hmm. and then now you go home and you got a whole ton of homework that's adding on. Now the homework you can't 
spend time with those extracurricular activities you really want to do. So it's time management. Mm -hmm. You guys want to do it all. You can't, mm. can you do it all? Can you really do it all? If no. you have extremely good time management, I feel like you can do it all. Because I'm a friend named Kayla, and she is in mm. all AP class, and she has time for sports as well, and the math team, and her friends. And I'm just like, you go, girl. Like, I, I can't do it. Have that stuff. <laughs> 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 now, I, I will admit, when I was in high school, which goes back those 30 years ago, um, I think I was in about eight clubs. I was in eight clubs. Mm. I also worked 35 hours a week, so I had a full-time job, and I had about eight classes, including honors classes. So it is hard. It was stressful. I didn't sleep. Um, didn't spend a lot of time with friends. I'm going to say, did I have friends back then? But yes, I did have friends, but I didn't spend any time with them because all these things were so important to do. So how do you really balance it out? I mean, you have to do your homework. You have to do it, period. Is there something you can do to make your homework easier? or change your classes around that you actually have a social life. You gotta have that balance. I feel like if you're comfortable with what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. you should put yourself a little bit, but not too much where you're literally every day is just a stressful day because of homework. Mm -hmm. But then again, mm -hmm. you also have to find a balance of like what you're comfortable with like socially. Like if you know you're gonna go into a class where like these people <clears throat> really aren't good fit for you, maybe you should just go into a different class. Oh, okay. So you think your um, your classmates also interfere, or if they're yeah. friends, that's gonna get you not to think about homework, or just they're gonna be what type of distraction do the relationships cause? No, sometimes people are just too loud. Like you ever take a test, mm. and there's just this one loud kid who just won't be quiet. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's all the time. Like this kid that tried to be a class clown. He's like, dude, stop. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah, because I'd be these kids in my classroom, mm -hmm. like, you'd be over there taking a test, mm -hmm. and then out of the blue, you just hear, like, <laughs> you like, what is that? <laughs> 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 no, and, and, and then you turn around, you see them over there bent over laughing, and I'm like, can you not? Yeah, and I just, like, I feel like some people, like, when the teacher yells at them, like, they think it's funny, like, it's nothing, mm. but it's, like, really serious because, like, sometimes you could be affecting someone's else education like cool. someone's trying to learn and you're over there making like weird noises and coming back to the teacher like it's funny but it's not really funny so class clowns kind of uh, cause some stress too do you have class mm -hmm. clowns in your school yeah. too yeah there's a lot especially like older kids i don't know in my class there's a lot of kids that just like don't do anything because i don't know why i don't know the reason why they do stuff like that but i'm trying to study or just do anything. And whenever I'm with my friends too, I'm trying to study. I'm like, hey guys, I'm trying to study, but they don't listen. But whenever they have something, we like all just become quiet because we all want to do well on our mm -hmm. test or quiz. Now, who's actually putting more stress on you? Are you putting stress on yourself to help your parents? Because all your classmates are in the same class, or at least, you know, I'm talking about if you're in the AP class or all AP students and someone's snickering, okay? Mm -hmm. What's putting the pressure on you to make sure you're not snickering being the class clown? You want to get your work done versus being the class clown and getting all the laughs. Well, it's very, very simple. Very simple. Very, very simple. Mm. What's that? You just want to be eligible. <laughs> well, Especially, me, like for me, it's just mm -hmm. people's expectations because um, people always be like, oh, you're so smart or whatever. So people mm. expect more out of me and then mm. including going who my parents are. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, oh, yeah, I should expect more of you. And then at the end of the day, I'm over here saying, like, I just want to have fun and be a kid. And then when I do do some of the stuff that other people be doing, people look at me weird and be like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be doing this, that, and the other. So I have mm -hmm. this pressure of trying to keep this look, I guess you can kind of say. Well, wow. trying to live up to uh, what your parents and your teachers, because not only just your parents, it's your teachers, it's your aunts, it's your uncles, your grandma, your grandpa. You know, mm -hmm. they're expecting a lot from you, and that put pressure on you. Is that a good thing versus what pressure are they putting on the class clown? Well, unless you're Jimmy Fallon's mom. Mm -hmm. She's she <laughs> she probably happy that he was a class clown and he's famous now. But, I mean, what, I mean... How does that pressure put on you? Is that a good thing for you guys? No. It, 
it can be a good thing, but like when it gets to a point mm. where like they're over pressuring you, yeah. like they can like like you can tell your kid like you gotta do your homework, you know, you gotta get good grades. Mm -hmm. But like when it gets to a point where you're like talking about like you're a failure, like you're never gonna be good enough, you don't raise your if you don't pay attention in class. Mm. Like I just feel like it gets you can it gets to a point where it's just like over stressing. Like I get like you're trying to help out your kid, and I'm not saying like you can't be like. You you can be like you gotta do your homework, mm -hmm. but like it gets to a point where like sometimes you have to you have to consider like what your kid is like thinking about. Like sometimes it can overstress them, and they can have like breakdowns or like like you have to like be able to know like when your kid needs help or like when they're fine or like you know. Falls back on the parents again. So like, <laughs> I hate to put it on the parents, but. It's but you brought up a great point, Tressa, and I didn't think about it. Because I'm always thinking of the positive aspect. I need you to do good with work, guys. you got to get into college. I never thought of, oh, you're failing. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And it brings me back to when I was in high school. I was pretty much a straight-A student, graduated in the top 10% of my class. I brought home a C in gym. Now, my parents never paid attention to the report card. I had A's and AP classes, honors classes. I'm getting screamed out about getting a C in gym. I'm like, it's well, I'm thinking maybe they should have screamed a little louder. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinner back then, but I'm getting screamed out over gym. So how is that negative? Do you guys get that negative aspect versus the overpowering encouragement from parents or your teachers? Your teachers play a big role in that too. Like, yeah, because... Mm -hmm. um, because, like, with my situation, I remember back when I was in middle school, um, I had a C in one class, my parent, and I, and it was on my report card, and I showed it to my parents, my parents were like, oh, do you really think that you're a C student, and stuff like that, like, I know you can do better, and then at the end of the day, I'm over here like, I'm trying, like, I can't do no more than what I can do, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, it's not like, this grade is showing who's the best, who's not. It's showing how I'm doing, how I'm performing, and how well I'm um, showing my repetition skills in school. Okay. I feel like over complimenting a kid can just soften them in a sense. Mm -hmm. Like oh. okay. some kids, they're just too too soft. Like oh. honestly. You're going the opposite of what I thought. Yeah, yeah, because, like, you know, mm -hmm. kid draws, like, mm -hmm. you know, what they think is a horse and look at it, it's like, oh, that's a scribble. Like, no, it's a horse, can't you see? It's like, oh, here you go, gold star, go away. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, so, it, it just gets really annoying at times, and I think, like, we need to get faced with the reality mm -hmm. than the fiction. Okay. Yeah, I didn't look at it that way either. Don't want to be too soft on the kids, but... You know, there's like some um, school districts, they don't even um, do spelling tests or they want to give everyone a trophy for doing good or a star. And it's like, no, you need to challenge these kids. So stress from parents, stress from school, stress from extracurricular activity, stress from friends, from dating, from jobs, from future. And you guys still don't have gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the big I mean the biggest stress you think is just trying to have that balance but it doesn't sound like you guys have a balance it sounds like all you guys do is study, sleep, study, sleep eat, study, sleep, eat it's like I study, sleep, eat and then try to fit in games whenever I can because mm -hmm. I usually use the games as like a way of me like blowing off steam for a bit mm -hmm. so I can prepare myself for the next day. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I feel like the most stressful time is finals week where it's just like all yeah. the classes. <laughs> and then Definitely. Then on that week, just all the teachers pile up the assignments on one day and you're just staying up all night and you're just trying to finish <laughs> it and it's just the stressful, most stressful week just before winter break. Doing a lot of hoping and praying, please, God, yeah. let me have praying the answers, today. please. Let me make it through to Friday with these finals, God. And the worst thing about it is that they'll do it on Wednesday, like my school, right? So, Valentine's Day, right? 
they're having parent teacher conferences and I'm like, you're just trying to ruin some lucky couple's day. <laughs> like, like, like so I'm giving them like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see yeah, 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 and I'm gonna give them this gift and whatever, and then the parents come home. Is that a C I C? Uh uh-uh, uh, you ain't going nowhere tonight. But I was planning to take her to the movies. Too bad. You're gonna stay home. I was just like, really? Your neck were shadowing for this Friday coming up for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and your parents know hint hint. <laughs> oh no. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't say anything about the C though. Yeah. Just that he's single. Okay. I feel like every day in high school it just like whatever throws at you just happens. Mm-hmm. Like it can be like awesome and everything. You know, last period of the day is like, oh, guy's got an essay due tomorrow. I want it Times New Roman, twelve hundred words and um yeah, if you don't make this your family class, and you're just over there, <laughs> a little panic attack. You're just like, yeah, that's great. I love high school, man. Is it causing anxiety, a lot of the homework? Yeah. Some, yeah. Yes. Do you think the teachers are at least giving you enough to prepare you for college? College is not going to sugarcoat it. Hmm. The college professor is going to give you a list of stuff to do, have it done, this, 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 no. It's due at 1159 if it's not done enough. There's no sugarcoating. So don't you think your teachers are trying to prepare you? For your future? I think that they're trying to prepare us for our future, but I don't think that it's the best way of doing it. Because mm-hmm. I feel like if you're going to prepare you for my future, you're pre- um, you preparing me shouldn't be you stressing me out to the point where I'm just like, you know what, let me just try to get through this period so that I can get away from both you and these kids. <laughs> <laughs> that much stress on you yeah, yeah sometimes i don't even want to be running but i just like leave me alone because i gotta think for a bit chill i just try to regather anything everything are they just giving you extra work you think just to just give you extra work make them look good or what what, what is it i just i just or is feel it like really to help you guys i just feel like it depends on their teacher because sometimes the teacher just gives you work randomly and doesn't even try to explain it they'll be like oh so this is the problem, this is the formula, and good luck, guys. So, and, and, and then, like, some teachers actually take time to explain it. Mm-hmm. And, like, if you have questions, like, they'll, like, try to explain it more deeply to you. But I just feel like sometimes teachers can be, like, overstressing kids, and, like, they don't realize it. They just think that they're trying to help them. But, like, sometimes the kid is, like, well, like I get that you're trying to help me, but like sometimes I get stressed out. Like when you, when you like do stuff and then I don't understand it, and then you're just like, well, that's not my problem. Like, can you go to your teachers when you have that extra need of help? Can yeah. you go to them and talk to them or mm-hmm. get extra help from school to help alleviate a lot of stress? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really talk to any adults about my issues because I try doesn't really work out. I'm an odd child, so not anything I say really goes through correctly <laughs> or the way that I want it to. Well, one thing with eliminating stress is knowing how to eliminate stress. Mm-hmm. One, time management, balancing out your homework. Second is also when the realization, if you need help, go seek help. Yeah. I am one of the worst people <laughs> in math, I think. You know, and I was a special ed teacher. And if it wasn't on the regular calculator, adding, subtracting, multiplication, and there's something else on there, division, you know, <laughs> I couldn't help the student. It got to be on that, you know, something basic. Because you get in a calculus or anything, I can't do it. I got to seek help. So why don't you seek help? That's knowing you need help. I feel like a lot of kids, kids, kids are a lot, of, <laughs> are very, very like you know, self-conscious or ashamed. But like for me, like if I don't understand something, like I'm frustrated. Like I'll I'll stay up all night either watching YouTube videos or like phoning my friends, trying to figure out this one problem. Like I'm sure you had that one problem back in your high school career. It was like one assignment, like mm-hmm. no one could figure out. No one could figure out. Correct. And, yeah, I remember because um, in my algebra class, so we would like take algebra and then everybody would make a whole group chat to be like. Hey, you got this problem because I don't really understand it. Or they'd be like, Did you get the same? And they'd be like, No, we got conflicting mm-hmm. answers. They'd be like, How is this even supposed to work? And then we go so to the teacher, and the teacher's like, You're at least magic. trying to seek help, but you're mm-hmm. not seeking help from adults. You're seeking help from your friends. 
I just feel like sometimes kids, like, when they need help from a teacher, like, they feel like the teacher's going to get mad at them because mm -hmm. they ask too many questions, and they, they don't want to be, like, a bother to the teacher. But, like, sometimes, I think, it, I think, I do think it's good to, like, go after school, like, tutoring if you do need it. Mm -hmm. And I do think that, like, if you actually need the help, then you should seek it. But, like, sometimes kids are, like, scared because they don't want the teacher to be, like, and that would cause more stress on you. If you're afraid or uncomfortable about going to your teacher or parent for help, that's going to create more stress. So um, I know we're getting closer to the end of the show. Lisa, let's give me at least a, one good example of how you can eliminate stress and give a suggestion in that comment towards your peers. If you have an assignment that's due maybe in a month, I feel like just to like just do it at that moment to get out of the way. So mm -hmm. then when it's like getting closer to the day, you don't stress about it or get anxiety about it. You're like, oh, it's due in two days. But if you do it earlier and get it done, mm -hmm. you don't even know about it because you've done it already. So procrastination, don't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I feel like being more organized with literally everything. Mm -hmm. uh, teachers always tell me that organization is the number one key if you ever want to be like successful or whatever. Like, be organized, like, make sure that you organize your time, organize your stuff, and right. you should be okay. Organize your stuff, time management, because I know when you're looking for that paper and your desk is cluttered or you're under your bed <laughs> yeah. and your bedroom's a mess and you can't find anything, you organize. At work? I honestly feel like if you don't get enough sleep, like, the night before, you can't think the whole day. <laughs> like, like, you be in your first period, like, not trying to fall asleep. And what's my third year is like math or like Spanish. You just mess up the whole rest of the day. Cause you're like, what was okay. she even talking about? Okay, and Tristan. Um, I think a good thing to do is like take a break from mm -hmm. like, if you stress about something, you should do something that like makes you calm, like play the piano or like, you know, listen to music. And then like after, after doing that, you can go back and you can retry the problem, you know, maybe do a different kind of thing that you didn't do before. Okay, so relaxation. Oh, those are all great things, perfect. Uh, well, thank you very much. For, um, we're all out of time right now. Um, this is um, Why, Why Not with Janice. Today's topic was um, stressors for high school students and we came up with some great tips for the students. Uh, one of the tips was be organized, get enough sleep, uh, trust uh, with time management and organization. Thank you very much and see us next time. I'm